Hey, welcome back to another episode of the invoice management system app. In this video, we're going to look at something really, really cool. Let me show you. If I'm adding an invoice to the application, for example, um, I have line one as, uh, let me just start from here. We have uh, the customer name as a body and you have the phone number. You have the invoice date. Good. So let's say um, we have line one as mouse, okay? The quantity is 10 and the unit price. So pay attention to this. You see, we have line total right here and currently is at zero. So when I type 10, or let's say we type 100, so automatically this is um, filled. It is automatically filled. And it's filled as I am typing. So if I adjust this to 15, look right here as i'm typing you can see it is automatically adjusting and that is exactly what is happening right here okay so this number uh this other one right here is the total of all the lines so when i switch down to the next one let's say keyboard okay we have a quantity as five now right after i type the um the unit price you can see this field will be added to this it will now create a total of 1800 so whether i am typing on this field or this field the calculation will be done automatically good so this is what we want to do on this video or in this video you have a course right here as usual everything is in this um blog post and it's gonna be very simple once we go through it if you like our work, you might want to support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com slash and subscribe to help us do more of these kind of videos. So in return, we can give you all the source skills of every single software or every single application that we are building. The entire source code. Yeah. Though you can have the source code on our website, but if you want to have a full bundle of the source code, you can have them here. All right. So I'm going to open Sublime. We're going to be pasting everything right here. So most of the job will be on JavaScript. So I'm going to open JavaScript and right within this document of ready function is where I'm going to paste the code. All right. So I'm going to take everything and paste it then explain what is going on. It's a bit of code, but once we go through it, you will see that it is a very simple technique. Okay, so this is the function that was doing what again? Yeah, that was doing hiding and unhiding of our fields. Okay, I'm gonna paste the code right here. Make sure it's indented properly. Okay, now from here, you can see uh, if I do an inspect element, I'm gonna open our application. Let me stop this one and open. Um, The app that we are building that is in um, invoice MGMT. All right, so I'm gonna refresh the page. I know the application is still looking ugly, but very soon we're gonna start designing the look and feel of this app. Okay, now if I go to list of app, or let's say if I go to add invoice. All right, so if you look at um, line one, you have line one right here, you have quantity and unit price. If I inspect the quantity, you have ID, line one quantity, and you also have the unit price before the total if i right click the unit price and click inspect you have id line one unit price okay so likewise line two yeah line two and that's the quantity for line two if i close this you have line two right here you have quantity and unit price so if i inspect the quantity for line two you have id line two quantity and id id line two unit price 
so it's gonna go like that until you get to id line one uh, line 10 unit price and id line 10 um quantity so those are the fields that i captured in this line okay you can see you have id line one quantity id line one unit price okay so you have id line two quantity id line two unit price then line three line line three again you have all the way up to line 10. so both um capturing the quantity and the unit price so we have a function called key up okay so anytime i press a key and leave the key that will be a key up so we're going to run this function right after lifting that my fingers from the key so it's going to have a variable let me just show you that anytime i type um, something here let's say i type one and i leave the keyboard okay it's gonna run that function so likewise here if i type five it's gonna do the function if i press zero it's gonna run the function again so we want anytime we run that function the function should take these two numbers multiply them and give me the value right here okay right on the fly without refreshing the screen so that's what i'm going to be doing here but before we're able to do the calculation we have to grab the value of line one okay we have to grab the value of line one quantity okay and you can get that by having dot val function okay so we're gonna have whatever we have in there we're gonna assign it to this variable line one quantity text okay so we're gonna do the same for id line one unit price dot var so whatever value is in whatever value you have in this field you're gonna assign that to this variable okay so the function is gonna do that once we release a key okay so right at that moment okay it's gonna have another variable line one total so that will be equal to whatever you have in this variable times whatever is in this other variable so that's what we have here line one quantity text times or multiplied by line one or line one unit price text so that will give you whatever whatever you have there will be assigned to this so the same will be done for line two line two yeah line two here line three all the way down to line ten so so on the fly it will be calculating all that okay so if i i'm gonna save it and then show you that i'm gonna save that double or control refresh the screen so we're gonna test this i'm gonna type 10 so it will be 10 times 0 you have 0 so if i put 1 here we expect to see 10 here automatically okay now the same will be done here if i type 30 and i switch here i put 3 you can see 90 so if i put 0 you can see 900 so this is what we are able to do with these lines of codes okay now right at that moment you can see the total is also being calculated okay but i didn't show you that yet so let's do that next now since you understand everything that is going down here at least i hope you understand now we are looking at the total okay we want to do a total we have a variable total okay and that total will be equivalent to line 10 plus uh, whatever is in this variable this variable that one so the total for each of those lines so you can see we have line one total plus line two total plus line three total plus line four total all the way down to line 10 total okay so it's going to take all that add them up and then assign it to this variable now right here this would have just use this as a variable but what actually put it in that field is this okay so each of these field right here each of these line totals have uh an id okay so i just right clicked the id i just right clicked the total for line four so you can see you have a total of id or an id of id line four total okay so if i check the one for line one you have line one here quantity unit price line total if i right click and click inspect you can see id line one total price is the id for that particular um 
field. In fact, no, I have to look for the actual um, field, okay? For the field itself, like this is the field, I'm gonna inspect that. And you have line one total price, okay? That's the uh, ID, sorry, the ID is right here, okay? ID, line one total price. So if I switch over here, you can see for that ID, I want to set a value, okay? Now the value will be, this is gonna give you the value, it's gonna take whatever you have in line one total, that is right here, this variable, is gonna take that, okay, and set it as the value of this field. Likewise, line two, line three, all the way down to line 10. So each of these variables will be, will be inserted in this, uh, in the field with this particular ID. Okay, the same will be done for the total. So it's gonna look at the value of this total or this variable, okay, and then insert it in the total um, field or the field with the ID of total or ID total. So that's how I'm able to grab all of this data and then automatically do the calculation using JavaScript or jQuery in this case. So I hope you understand what is going on here. And with that, you'll be able to autofill all this data. And if you click save, it will actually save these numbers into your database. So I hope you find this informative. If you do, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're a new member. If you are interested in our work, you might want to support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com slash baji and become our Patreon. So with that said, see you in the next section or the next video.